Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Hazy here from Black Hat Comics in Rockin' Mill Pitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I like to give you some great reasons to get down to your local comic shop and pick up something fun to read. It's a big, huge week, packed with titles, probably the biggest week we've seen for a while. I'm gonna start with the Marvel guys because it's Avengers week. Uh, you might have heard about a little movie called Age of Ultron that's out this Friday. Uh, to coincide with all that, Marvel's got all their Avengers books this week. Avengers proper. Your final issue before all the Secret Wars stuff. New Avengers, the cool Doctor Doom cover. Two New Avengers this week, that one and this one, New Avengers Ultron Forever, the second Ultron Forever book. We've got part one still in stock if you happen to miss it. And Secret Avengers, your third A-Team book of the week. But wait, there's more. All new Captain America with Baron Blood there on the cover. Dig some Baron Blood, very old school cap villain. Superior Iron Man. And S.H.I.E.L.D. Inspired by the cool TV show. That's all your Avengers related stuff for the week. But I also wanted to mention this huge tome is Avengers Epic Collection from the uh, Ultron stuff. Da, 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 behold the vision. This is Avengers 57 to 76, all in one big thing. This is the origin of Ultron, the origin of the vision, all the original stuff that uh, the movie is based on, all in one giant trade paperback. So if you're uh, not a huge Avengers fan like me and know everything about everything ever, uh, then pick up that book and it's a whole lot of great Avengers history. In other Marvel news, Princess Leah is your Star Wars book of the week. One of my favorite characters of the Lucas verse. And sadly, this is my last issue of Fantastic Four. The original Marvel comic comes to an end again this week. Don't think there's going to be another Fantastic Four post Secret War. This one's double sized, kind of a tearjerker. If you're an FF fan like me, you're sorry to see that one come. A couple of Spider Books, Silk with Black Cat on the cover. You know we love her. And Spider-Man and the X-Men rounds out your spider stuff. This one and the Weekly Wolverines rounds out your X stuff. Daredevil from Mark Wade. Been hearing a lot about this guy lately. The show on Netflix is super awesome. It's worth getting Netflix or buying a new TV, whatever you gotta do, because the show's great. And the book is just as good. Everybody knows Mark Wade's one of my favorite guys. Moon Knight, another one of uh, Marvel's tough guys, along with Daredevil. And then your outer space guys, Nova and Silver Surfer from my man Mike Allred. Been really digging the Silver Surfer stuff. Huge week for the Marvel guys. Make sure you get out and check uh, Avengers this weekend. Big week for the DC guys. 11 Convergence books. This is the main book, Convergence number four, with Warlord on the cover. I know you love Warlord there, Jim, so you got to pick up that one. Convergence action comics. Blue Beetle. I love Blue Beetle. I love Ted Cord. I've been very sad since uh, the demise of Ted, so I'm glad to see him back in this Convergence stuff. Booster Gold, another classic favorite of mine. Crime Syndicate, Convergence Detective Comics with classic Huntress on the cover there. Infinity Inc, Justice Society, which we've not seen for a while. Here's another Hawkman book. Convergence Plastic Man and the Freedom Fighters. I love me some Plastic Man. Talk about a guy we haven't seen in the DCU in a long, long time. Been missing Plaz and his wacky antics. Convergence Shazam. I'm a big Shazam fan. Love me some Captain Marvel, the original Captain Marvel. Got a lot of Shazam fans. And Convergence World's Finest. It's more Golden Age goodness for you. And this is your last issue of Multiversity. This stuff's been huge. Everybody digs Grant Morrison and the strange and crazy stuff he loves to do with all the uh, other DC universes. Multiversity has been a lot of fun. We've got all those one shots. We've got a big pack of the whole thing. So check that stuff out. But the book of the week for DC has got to be this guy, Batman number 40. It's already lit up the internet for the past few days. My phone's been ringing off the hook. So I hope you're already in line at your favorite comic store to grab your copy. Batman 40 is going to be huge. Superman 40. 
from John Romita Jr., another favorite of mine. And Justice League number 40. DC's got their three big ones in addition to all the Convergence stuff, part of what makes this such a big week. And like the Avengers trade, don't talk a lot about, about trade paperbacks, but this is Fables Volume 21. I know a lot of you guys have been following Fables in trade paperback. The series is almost over. Volume 22 is just one giant last issue graphic novel book. Uh, this is one of the best books of all time, so I really encourage you guys to grab uh, the first trade paperback of this or the $1 reprint of the first issue to stick your toe in the water and catch all the way up to this volume 21 because Fables is really, really great stuff. Oddly enough, I don't have a Mike Mignola book to talk about from Dark Horse, but I got two Avengers books, or two Conan books, sorry. Conan the Avenger, because, well, Avenger is the hot word of the, of the week. And Conan Red Sonja, Two of the best barbarians in comics. Taking out bad guys, good stuff. And a great week for the image guys. While I'm on the subject of trade paperbacks, this one's Walking Dead Volume 23. Like Fables, a lot of you follow Walking Dead uh, only in trade paperback. So this is the latest volume. This catches you up pretty darn close to the single issues. So always encouraging you guys to jump ship from the trade paperbacks and get into the periodicals. Outcast from your writer of Walking Dead. Invincible, also from the writer of Walking Dead. Talk about this one all the time. Most folks don't know he has a superhero comic and that one's really good. Morning Glories is an image book you are all into. And Pisces is your first issue, gotta have it, image book of the week. Big week for those guys. Twilight Zone is my dynamite book of the week because Twilight Zone is awesome and a great premise for a comic. And the mighty TMNT, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, my IDW book of the week. This is number 45. You probably heard about what happened in number 44, so you've been waiting for this one. Love me some TMNT. And the Turtles are also my All Ages book of the week. This is based on the uh, current animated series. Little Turtles for everybody. And Marvel Universe Spider-Man, it's my other kid's book for the week. They'll talk a lot about the cool stuff Marvel does with their all ages line. But Spider-Man and Hulk swapping brains, how fun is that? Great, great week of stuff. So check those shipping lists, get down to your shop, pick up something super awesome. Want to remind you one last time, this Saturday is free comic book day. This Saturday is free comic book day. Get down to your favorite shop, get to every single shop that you can get to that day because uh, everybody's got different free stuff. Everybody's got big sales going on. Here at Black Cat, we're giving away big pack of stuff. We got a 90% off back issue sale. Lots of cool things going on. So make sure you're here Saturday, May 2nd. Make sure you get around to every shop you can. Go to Facebook and like the free comic day page, share it with all your friends, get all your friends and family out there because there's a comic book out there for everybody and free comic book day is a great day to prove that. That's all I got for you for this week. Check us out at Facebook, check us out at blackcatcomics.biz, check out our cool YouTube channel or just get on down here to Rockin' Milpitas. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next week.